The Absolute Way of Living Chapter 5 The Lioness So sad was the bat, for nothing was making sense now. First, it was the mole with the lesson of the importance of company, here now was the ant with her theory of self-reliance. Whatever the answer could be, she was sure far from getting it. For no answer yet for the tortoise and two more animals to observe. Company is for the weak, the bat said in remembrance of the lioness. Maybe the previous lessons were only applicable to the animals it concerned, for the mole and the ant were weak animals, less capable of taking care of themselves alone. What would the lioness say? With this, she flew away in search of the lioness and so her quest continued. The lioness was a very proud animal. She was hated as much as she was admired. She had the confidence that pushed her to be the best. She saw everyone else as lazy and incapable of achievements, she also saw association to be a drawback from success and she preferred to be alone in her dealings. She lacked nothing and there was always abundance at her den. This brought both admiration and hatred her way, for there she was, always best at what she did. Growing up as a child, her brothers, sisters, immediate and distant cousins all hated her. There never ceased to be a time where their efforts were not weighed on her scale. This boosted her confidence and self-ego. There was much she could do and nothing she couldn't or so she told herself. She hated hunting in packs. She always thought of it as self-limiting. She wouldn't associate herself in any company because she didn't need one. She talked to whoever she wanted and whenever she wanted. She also learned to mind her business and dwelt only on what concerned her. This made it difficult for Bat to start a conversation with her. On her way to her den, the lioness met a wolf ranting so hard on the injustice of her pack. She complained on the biased treatment she had been getting from the leaders and how unfair life was. It was then that the bat had the opportunity to hear Lioness's story and opinions on the topic of which she was interested. From the tree from which she hung, she listened attentively to the lioness as she spoke. Company in itself is like a coconut, very hard to break but little to take. Come to think of it. The bees are very strong in their togetherness, which is undeniably commendable but to what end, if not the propagation of the selfish ambition of the queen bee. Growing up, I was taught the power of togetherness. We are carnivorous animals who hunt in packs. You are not new to these lessons but tell me whose agenda you are collectively pursuing if not your alpha wolf. You get to be at the top if not from sheer force and strength but no one seems to care about ambition and legacy. I learned my lesson after I nearly died from following the orders of a simpleton of a leader. I had to revisit my priorities and here we are, with my name on everyone's lips. Company means dependence and the death of ambition. The ant made a similar assertion and hear the lioness saying the same. Could it have been the answer all this while? The bat asked. Even the wise tortoise had never been seen with another. He seemed to like the company of himself. What really is the absolute way of living? The lioness left the wolf feeling very right. Why company anyways, when? One can live only for herself and do what she wills. In reality, the lioness was dying out of boredom and unhappiness. Nobody wanted to come close to her because she was feared. She spent her nights alone. That was the reason for which she ceased every moment to justify her life's situation with reasonable words, but as it is rightly said, smiles can be deceptive and a head though may be pretty, knows only what it carries. Lioness died alone in her cave a few weeks later after acquiring an injury from a hunt. Nobody saw her for a while, and nobody cared to ask. The bat found her lying dead two weeks after their last meeting. She then sent the information to the crow, which then made it known to those it concerned. The lioness was buried and thus, her tail. Just a friend, a true friend could have been of great help but unfortunately, none existed. The bat in her quiet time could hear the tortoise laughing at her confusion. This is indeed a great lesson to be learned. 
her interest in the subject area suddenly spiked. She wanted to know how it would all end. She now more than ever wanted to get an answer for the tortoise. Knowledge is truly power and wisdom is what sustains it. Being quite as well as observant teaches more than a thousand words but being loud and ignorant are the tools of the fool. The crow was the next and last to be observed. Maybe the one with the lessons of mother nature could unravel this mystery. The mystery of the meeting of unanswered questions, for this was his response, mother nature, in her infinite wisdom, thought it wise that no one should live alone thus, she made us male and female, a law of nature observed only by the wise, the bat then decided to get to work with an enthusiasm never felt before. Her quest was almost done, 